Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. Visual Studio Code has become very integral part of our programming workflow for a lot of people. So if you are using Visual Studio Code, there is a very easy way for you to use Visual Studio Code from your command prompt. Probably you might know this already, but if you have not configured this, this video is for you to know how you can invoke Visual Studio Code from your terminal item to command prompt, whatever you would like to call that. So usually what I prefer is I don't like to go to, you know, my spotlight and then search for Visual Studio Code and open it. The easiest way that I would usually like to go is I would open my terminal and then go there and then just type code and then I would expect Visual Studio Code to open. So as you can see, it didn't open. So what I would usually do is like if I want, especially if I want to open a directory or a folder with Visual Studio Code, I would probably, you know, go to the, go to the directory's path. So like, let's say documents, PyCodes, and from there, I would expect it to say code dot, and then I would expect it to open as a new directory. But as you can see, at this point, it is not happening because I have not configured my Visual Studio code for this to happen. So when you install Visual Studio code for the first time, there is a thing called adding Visual Studio code or code to the path that you have on your operating system. So if you are using Windows, you might be very familiar with uh, environment variables. If you are on Mac, you might know path. So path or environment variables is where you would want to add this particular command. And there are multiple ways to do that. You can go manually and then do this, like go, go through this uh, instruction that they have given and then do it. But there is a very easier way for you to do this and that's what I'm going to show. So the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you have already installed Visual Studio Code. If you have not installed Visual Studio Code, maybe it doesn't make any sense for you to watch this video at all. So the first step is you have to install Visual Studio Code. So first install Visual Studio Code. After you install Visual Studio Code, now launch your Visual Studio Code. So like this, launch your Visual Studio Code. After you launch your Visual Studio Code, use your Command Shift and P or Control Shift and P and then launch the command palette. So command palette is this, the like command shift P. So this is what you get as a command palette. And this palette has a lot of information that you can use. So what you have to do is after you launch this command palette, you have to type shell, S-H-E-L-L. -L. After you type shell, you would see two commands there, like two actions that you can perform. One is the shell command to install code command in the path. The other is the shell command to uninstall code command from path. At this point for us, we have not installed code command to our path. So the thing that we have to do is install code command to the path. So click this thing. After you click this, it's going to say that our code is successfully installed, which means we have successfully managed to install code as a command path, code as a keyword inside our path, which would invoke Visual Studio Code. So let's try it out. Let's open our item and then clear everything and type code. And as you can see, it has opened Visual Studio Code. But I've already told you that the way I like to use Visual Studio Code is, let's say I want to open a folder. How do I want to open a folder? I would go here and then I would say code dot, which means I want this to be opened as a folder. And as you can see that it is it is opening as a folder. So let me say that I'm trusting the author. So now this entire thing is a folder project. Like I have a separate window, but this you can see at the same name, the folder in which I opened. So I have got it. So this is a really, really, really handy way for me to open Visual Studio code with, within like a given folder. So if I want to open a file, I can still do it. But let's say like you all, you know, all these things, right? So you have a file, you have a folder, you have all these things and you know how to open it at this point. So now if I do not want this to be in my command path, so I have to go to Visual Studio Code again, click Command Shift P and then say uninstall code. And once I do uninstall code, now I can go back to my terminal and then say code and then you would see that nothing is coming up because we have uninstalled it. So let me quickly show you again how to install it. Go to your Visual Studio Code, Command Shift P and then install command code and then once you install you can open your terminal and then let's clear it up and let's say you want to open a directory you can either go to the directory and then say code dot once you go enter inside a directory and then say code dot say it would it, it would open that directory let's say i've created a new file 
um, maybe a python file and then say okay right now i'll save it uh, when i save it i'll say um, first pi dot pi okay let's say i've saved it i've closed it and you can see when i do ls you can see that i've got this file let's say i want to open this file directly into vs code i don't i don't want to go to vs code and open it i don't want to open the entire directory pi codes so how do i do it if you are a vim user you would of course probably know that you would say vi and then first underscore pi and then dot pi so this is what you would do if you are a vim user right so um but but let's say like leaving all the vim um memes outside uh, let's say you don't want to use vim you don't want to use nano you don't want to use any of the existing code editor you are comfortable with vs code and you want to use vs code for this thing so what do i do i would simply go to my command prompt and then say code and then instead of dot i would say first pi dot pi i would just put the file name code is my command to invoke visual studio code and first underscore pi is the file name and then i would just press enter and then you can see at this point it actually opens the file that i want so i can say import um, pandas as pd and then let's say i save it i close it and then i come back here and then you know like if i just want to check it with a different editor whether things have worked fine i just quickly say nano first um, pi and save it you can see that we have successfully saved the file using um, vs code and that is that is the that is the best part of having code so you can open the folder you can open the file so even sometimes you want to update your bash profile you are not very familiar with vim you're just confused how to exit vim if you are in any of these kind of situations the easiest way for you to invoke vs code is go to your terminal let me just quickly show you close your terminal open it and then just you know go there and then say code and then it would of course open it for you and then you can do anything that you want so the way we have set it up is to go inside visual studio code and open the command palette and then from there we installed the shell command but if you want to do manual ways you are already like i said you have certain manual instructions how you can update it on your bash profile if you are using bash as your shell shell or if you are using zsh zsh then you have to update your ZS, zsh profile and this is also this instruction is also available for different operating systems so if you have uh, if you have got windows then you know how do you how do you install it in environment variable how do you make sure that it is available in environment variable so all those things you can you can do it using this tutorial so what i would do is i would link this document in the youtube description you can definitely check it out but other than that if you have any questions please feel free to let me know in the comment section or also if you if you are using vs code for something else like let's say something in a different way other than what i've shown now um, other than you know like using terminal or other than using the existing spotlight method please let me know because um, that that would also help me in uh, finding out new ways to open vs code so to quickly summarize in this video we learned how to set up our machine to open vs code using the code invoke command on terminal all i have to do is go to my terminal and then just type code or in case if i want the file name like for example if i want the file name i can just say pi codes and if i want the folder to open i can just open it here or if i want the file name then i can just go here and then open it and it would open the entire file that i want other without me going to vs code or you know separately opening vs code so i don't have to take that entire pain all i have to do is go open vs code with code and just like a programmer and then you have got it set up so this would i hope this would improve your programming or coding workflow if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video